Welcome to Music Theory Grade 2. This is Week 5. Week 5 will be dealing with key signatures, covering how to write or how to find sharps and flats, and determining keys. Let's begin. Key signatures. Remember, key signatures are placed right at the beginning of the staff. They're placed at the beginning of the staff and they indicate the key, indicating the key of a song. Key signatures are placed at the beginning of the staff to indicate a key of a song. Look here, placed at the beginning of the staff, indicating the key of a song. We use sharps and flats as symbols indicating the key. Remember not to confuse accidentals and key signatures. Accidentals are placed right before the notes. Accidentals are placed right before notes. Key signatures are placed at the beginning of the staff. Accidentals are placed right before a note and they, are, um, and they only affect that particular note until the end of the bar. And they only affect the note until the end of the bar. In grade three, in grade two theory, we will be covering the sharps, uh, major keys, C, G, D, E, and minor keys, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. For major keys with flats, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, and minor keys with flats, D, G, C, and F. Sharp keys on the staff. This is G major key, and it only has one sharp. F sharp. The D minor, I mean D major. D major has two sharps, the F sharp and the C sharp. Then we have A major with three sharps, the F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Then we have E major with four sharps now, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. How to find a key from a key signature of sharps? How to find a key from a key, a key signature of sharps? From the last sharp, you count a semitone higher. Count a semitone higher to find your key. So if this is the last sharp, F sharp, a semitone higher than F sharp would be G. Then that's your new key. A semitone higher from C sharp would be D. That's your key. A semitone higher from G sharp would be A major. A semitone higher from your last sharp, which is D sharp, would be E major. Now let's move along to how to figure out key signatures with sharps. In the key of C major, all keys are natural. We do not have accidentals in this key. Now to add Identify your next key with a sharp. Count five times. Count five times from the root. In this case, your root would be C. The fifth degree from C is G. Since G is the fifth note from C, therefore G is our new key. Now, to figure out accidentals in G, in the new key, G count seven times. Ascending using all notes from your previous key, C. The seventh degree would be your leading note, and your leading note must always be raised by a semitone. So it lies, your leading note lies a semitone below your root. Raising the seventh degree, we will get the F sharp, which is our accidental in the key of G major. Let's just look at that on the staff. Count five times from the root. This is your root. C is your root. One, two, three, four, five. We find G. We make G our new key. From G, we carry all these notes, but we start counting from G. Count seven times to find the accidental. So G, count one, two, three. G is our new key, mind you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
7 is our uh, leading node. Then we raise it, raise the 7th degree by a semitone. Then we get the 7th degree to be the F sharp. F sharp would be our new accidental. Then let's look at the complete G major scale. G would be a 1. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp is the raised 7th degree now, not F. Then back to G. This lies the semitone below the root. Now the order of sharps would be father for F sharp, Charles for C sharp, G goes for G sharp, down for G sharp, and for A sharp, and for E sharp, battle for C sharp. Father Charles goes down and ends battle is the order of all sharp keys but in this grade we will only be focusing on C. How to figure out key signatures with flats? We now know that a flat lowers a key by a semitone. We use a different formula to help us find key signatures with flats. In the key of C major we have no accidentals. All notes are natural. To determine the next key with flats, count four times now. Count four times using all notes from the previous key C. F is the fourth above the C. So you count four, four times from the root note. You'll find F. Then we make that F our new key. Make the fourth degree your new key. To find accidentals now in the new key, which is F, you count four times again, ascending from the root. The new root is F. Then lower the fourth degree. The fourth degree, if you count four times from F, your fourth degree would be B. Put a flat sign and lower it by a semitone. Therefore, you'll find B to be a B flat. Then you'll find that F major has only one accidental, which is B flat. And let's look at the example on the staff. Count four times to find your new key. The given uh, key was C. So to get a new key with a uh, flat accidentals, we count from the root C. So you count one, two, three, four. You make your fourth degree your new key. Right? Now our fourth degree is F. It is our new key. We count four times to determine the accidental from the new key F. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the fourth degree is B. We lower the fourth degree a semitone down. Now we make that lowered uh, fourth degree our new accidental would be B flat. So the new F major scale will be F, G, A with a B flat, not B. Remember it has been lowered. Then the B flat is the accidental in the key of F. There is no need to raise the seventh degree, which is the leading note in this case because it is already raised. E lies with a semitone down from F, which is the root. Battle and and goes down. Charles father. Battle for B flat and for E flat and for A flat. Down for G flat. Goes for G flat. Charles for C flat. F father for F flat is the order of all flat keys or keys with flat uh, key signatures. Order of flats on the staff. F has one flat which is the B flat like we've just discussed on the previous page. B flat has two flats, G flat and E flat. E flat has three flats, G flat, that's B flat, E flat and A flat. A flat has four flats, B flat, E flat, uh, A flat and G flat. Now, how to find a key from 
inclusive nature of the flat. The second last flat is the tonic of the key. So the second last flat basically is our key. How true is that? Let's prove it. And second last flat in this case would be C flat. That's our tonic. The second last flat here would be E flat. That's our key. Same goes for here. A flat would be our key. Now we know how to find keys for accidentals with sharps and flats. And we know how to determine accidentals for sharps and accidentals with flats. Now let's move on and take a look at relative minor keys. All major keys have relative minor keys. This is because they share the same key signatures. They share the same key signatures. So major keys share the same key signatures with the relative minor keys. Therefore, they are considered related. It is important to know the difference of sound for major and minor keys. A major key has or it sounds warm while a minor key suggests a sad sound, which is not always the case. You can still find a cheerful song composed in a minor key. A relative minor is a, is a major six above or from the major and the relative major is three semitones above the minor key. See examples below. So to get C relative uh, minor key, I mean to, to find the relative minor for C major. You count six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. A would be our relative minor key. So A is the relative of A minor is the relative of C major. Right now to find or to to get back to the major, you count just one, two, three. You count three semitones from the relative minor to find your major. So that will be A, B, C three semitones moving along learn how to memorize the major and relative minor keys below C major the relative of C major would be A minor the relative of G major is E minor the relative of D major is B minor the relative of A major is F sharp minor the relative of E major is C sharp minor. The relative of F major is D minor. The relative of B flat major is G minor. The relative of E flat major is C minor. And the relative of A flat major would be F minor. If you can count all these major keys and count six times above the major keys, you'll find this note. Six, a six, a six above the above C major is A, 6 above G is E, so on and so on. Now sharps and minor keys, we know that they share the same accidental. Let's just look at that on the stuff. This is G with F sharp as the accidental, G major. It also shares the same accidental with its relative minor. D major shares the same accidental with its relative minor a same accidental with f minor e major same accidentals with its relative minor key flat f same key signature with d minor the relative d d flat major related to g minor with the same key signature same key signature also from E flat major to C minor. Same key signature for A flat major and F minor. Moving along to the leading note. The seventh degree of a major or minor key is the leading note. So a leading note is a seventh degree. Seventh degree of major or minor. Since it is a semitone before the root. It lies a semitone just before the root. It sounds like it wants to resolve to a certain degree. 
it is likely to be the eighth degree, which is the root, an octave higher. In a major key or a major scale, the leading note is raised already. Thus, it is a semitone below the root note. But in a minor key, the seventh degree has to be raised as well, putting it a semitone below the root. So in a minor key, we must always raise our seventh degree to make it a semitone below the root. Moving on, how to determine a key? You might be given a piece without a key signature in an exam and be asked to put one uh, uh, from studying the given or provided song or piece. Now remember that the major and minor, they share the same key signatures, but the seventh degree of both keys differ. There are two things to consider when finding a key. The first and the last bar carry the tonic degree. The first and the last bar, they carry the tonic degree of the song. This is not always the case, though. It varies with the composer. The starting note might, might not be the tonic, or the ending or the finishing note might be a deceptive resolution, which still is not the tonic. But in most cases, most composers, they start with the tonic or they will end with the tonic. Check for the leading note, your seventh degree. The raised seventh degree, remember, it indicates a minor. Analyze the accidentals. Very important to remember. Analyze your accidentals. If a piece does not have a key signature, accidentals must always be analyzed. Remember, accidentals will be placed before the notes if there is no key signature at the beginning of the staff. Also consider the dominant. It is likely to resolve to the root. The dominant is your fifth degree. It is likely it wants or it sounds like it wants to resolve to your one, which is the root. The first or the first example is in the B flat major, but it does not start with the tonic. It starts with the dominant, then resolves on the tonic. The key signature tells us that we have two uh, accidentals. We have two accidentals. We have two accidentals the B flat and the E flat. Therefore, our leading note is raised already. Let's just take a look at that example. It says the first example is in the key of B flat major. How do we know? We check the accidentals. Right. But it does not start on the tonic. It starts on the dominant. F is the dominant, which is the fifth degree of B flat. Then it resolves on the tonic F going to B flat this is your tonic and the key signature tells us that we have two accidentals the B flat and the E flat this is the key signature we have to look out for therefore our leading note is raised already the leading note is a semitone from the root example 2 is in A minor the piece also uh, starts on the dominant, which is the fifth degree, resolving to the tonic. The raised seventh degree tells us that it is a minor key resolving on A. Right, it starts on a dominant, which is the fifth degree of A. It resolves to A. The leading note was raised. Hence, a sharp is placed before the note to make it a semitone before the root A.